hey guys and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see for this video i am doing something that i do every year on my channel and that is just a reflections and goals video and like content ideas for my year on youtube basically so i like to do this every year just so that i can see how my channel grows and also to give you guys an idea of what you guys can expect from me for the upcoming year to see if that is something that you would be interested in obviously things Things can kind of like chop and change and if I have new ideas then I will also do that but I just like to be able to reflect on these for myself as well and also to have milestones that I can work towards um, and tick off as the year goes along yeah without further ado let's jump in so we'll start off with the achievements now all of these I have taken from my last year's goals that I wanted to achieve here on YouTube so the first achievement that I have from 2023 on YouTube which I think is my eighth year on YouTube I hit a thousand subscribers which I am so thankful for so whether you guys have recently subscribed or you subscribed from the beginning I just want to thank you guys so much for taking some time watching my videos all your comments all your shares all your likes I really appreciate it all and I'm so thankful to have you guys join me and the family and just that you guys take an interest in my life it means a lot and it also means a lot that I have you guys right behind me as well like if anything happens I do thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and so a thousand subscribers was my target that I wanted to hit and I'm so thankful that we got there we got there in December which is so good so I'm so thankful the next thing that I achieved is that I uploaded pretty consistently throughout 2023 it wasn't perfect I did have some weeks where I did upload just one video I did take all of October off which I again I explained in my I'm back q and video so if you want to hear more of that then um, that'll be down below because life had just been crazy um, been so busy but I like that I have been able to at least get like one video up and I feel like I have gotten up a lot of videos that I have personally really enjoyed filming and editing the next thing that I achieved is that I vlogged the Ed Sheeran mathematics tour concert which is something that I wanted to do um, and was a content idea that I had and you guys loved the video like I'm so so thankful on how well that video is doing because it's doing a lot better than what I anticipated for it being almost an hour long. I had so much fun filming it and so much fun editing it so I'm really thankful that I also have that to look back on. The next things that I achieved I'm going to do together because they were like little home projects that I achieved. So I've written down that I did my kitchen drawers, my desk, my wardrobe and my bathroom cupboard which some of these were ones that I wanted to make over that I had as content ideas and others of them I'm just putting them in because I'm really thankful that I've finally done them because it has taken a weight off of me because I just feel like when your house is a mess your brain feels a mess and for me personally I like everything to be organized I like everything to have a place I like things to look pleasing to the eye and I take a lot of pride in how my home looks it is one of my jobs as a wife to create a very comforting and safe and nice environment for people to want to come over whether that is we're hosting someone for dinner whether that is we are doing a bible study whether it is just friends going through a rough time that need somewhere to just sit and chat it is my responsibility to make my home that environment and I'm so thankful to be able to get a lot of these messier areas of my home organized and I'm really thankful with how they look I did all of them in Vlogmas, so I'll leave my Vlogmas playlist down below because um, a couple of them have the home projects in them. They are in the titles as well, so if you guys do want to see me make over those areas of my home, they are in my Vlogmas playlist. So just check that out and you'll be able to find those. The next achievement that I have is that I did Vlogmas and I kept up to date in my editing. Granted my last Vlogmas video I did put up on New Year's Day. I was trying to get it up on New Year's Eve but I don't know if you can tell by my voice but I am still recovering from a cold and I got really sick at the end of December just after everything I think my body was really exhausted. I still feel like I count that as going up on time because normally my Vlogmas videos continue through January because like, I haven't had enough time to just edit and upload but this is like the one year where like Christmas Eve I was up to date in my editing and that felt in 
incredible. So I decided to do Vlogmas Weeks in 2023 because it was a lot easier for me to edit as one big video rather than like certain days. And I loved it. Like I loved filming that way. I loved editing that way. I didn't lose any sleep apart from on Christmas Eve Eve. That was the only time. But then I also had like other things that I was like stressed about and worrying about. I didn't feel burnout once during Vlogmas which is great for me because normally I get really burnt out with Vlogmas and I'm just so thankful that I was able to do Vlogmas for another year. I did Vlogmas in 2019 and 2020. I skipped it in 2021 because Phil and I weren't living together and I didn't really do a whole lot lot during December. I was mostly just like wedding planning which I was vlogging for like my wedding series. I did it back again in 2022 and 2023 and I know you guys love the vlogs and I'm really thankful for your support um, from Vlogmas in 2023 because I know that they were long videos. It means a lot to me because it does take a lot of work to do Vlogmas um, just with like the editing and stuff so I do really appreciate it. The next thing that I achieved is that I did a lot of thrifting content again in my vlogs. So I think there were three or four vlogs I put up last year where I was thrifting in them. Um, I didn't quite get round to doing any like specific thrifting videos even though I really wanted to. I think I just need to pick up my camera more if I'm honest but I loved thrifting with you guys in Vlogmas um, and also there was another vlog as well where I did where I took you guys thrifting. And then the last thing that I achieved in 2023 on YouTube is that I kept an awareness of my stats. So every year I have a little like book that I write down all of my stats in. Granted I didn't keep as up to date with it in the latter half of the year just because life got so busy but through the first like six months of the year I was writing in that every month and it's just nice for me to see like what you guys enjoy content see how well it does and then be able to reflect as a whole on the end of the year as well. Alrighty now we move into my goals for 2024 here on YouTube. So my first goal is that I would love to hit 1.2k subscribers that would be so nice it is a big goal that i have i'm hoping that i can achieve it we will see how we go the next goal that i have i will need your guys's help to achieve that is that i would love to get monetized on youtube not because i want to do this for the money but just because i would love to be able to have a little bit of extra income while i'm studying and especially because phil and i are considering children this year as well um and the goal for us is for me to be a stay-at-home mum for like while my kids are like really little so being monetized and being able to do this and earn a small portion from it would be great um, because I do plan to still do YouTube while I have children it won't be focused on the kids but it will be like a little bit of like mum life stuff obviously I'll continue doing like my normal series I'll continue the book stuff the hauls the empties the current favorites like everything that you guys love but also with just like a little sprinkled in some like mum content and stuff that way if you guys are interested in it and you want to see what mum life looks like here in New Zealand as well then you guys can but obviously I will be very careful with my kids and their privacy because obviously exposing them to the online world at a very young age is not great and Phil and I don't want to expose them too much from a very young age. Being able to do this which I love doing and is a big passion of mine and being able to earn a little bit from it would be greatly appreciated and I'm almost there. I just need another thousand watch hours from people watching my videos. So that just means people who are just like watching my videos. Obviously I can't control that. That is purely you guys. So if you want to help me out and you want to help Phil and I out, that would be great as well. The next couple of things are some content things. So the first content one that I have I feel like I put in every video but I've definitely had more of a drive to do it and that is that I really want to do my pantry declutter and organize this year. Apart from the bar cart it is like my last area of the house where I feel like it's not how I want it. Doing the rest of the kitchen has definitely inspired me to do the rest, like do that last little bit of the pantry. Yeah, we'll see how we go. I, I really want to do it because our pantry is also an open pantry and so people who are coming around can see it. So I would just like to have it all organized, all in containers. It makes cooking and baking a lot easier as well. And I feel like when something is clean and tidy, it gives you more motivation to either do it or use it. The next goal and content idea that I have is that I want to do thrift with me's as separate videos. So again, 
the past year on YouTube I did a lot of like thrifting and vlogs but I definitely want to bring back the like actual like dedicated videos where I do it. I know I've done one standard one, one Christmas one and one wedding one and I think that's it. I think that's all I've done. Definitely like want to take you guys around to like my favourite op shops here in Auckland and do like a video on that and show you guys what you can find but I also want to do like going to new ones as well and seeing what I can find because especially up here in Auckland like the op shops definitely range in price and also like I do find a lot of really nice things thrifting sometimes I find things that I don't necessarily need but I think are really nice and sometimes I find things that I'm like oh yes this is coming home with me and especially as Phil and I think through children as well like I definitely want to do like a like a thrift with me baby edition the next content idea that I have that I want to continue in 2024 I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but I have really been enjoying all of the book content on YouTube that people have been doing and I want to do more of that myself I feel like that is going to be an easier content thing for me than a lot of the hauls just because I will be a uni student so I won't be having the most coming in. I want to do more like reading vlogs and more book hauls and just more book related videos as well. And then the last content idea that I have is that I want to do uni vlogs. So again I know this won't be everybody's cup of tea but again it's an easy thing for me to film because I'm going to have to be studying. I might like take you guys along to uni, take you guys along as I'm studying, preparing for exams, things like that. I obviously want to film vlogs in my uni breaks um, and just take you guys along a little bit and that way I can also like document my uni experience and I also know that there's not really a lot of New Zealand university content online. I think that is a gap um, and I definitely want to kind of put my foot in that gap as well and just give you guys a bit more insight into what it looks like here in New Zealand and in Auckland as well. And then the last goal that I have for 2024 for YouTube is that I want to keep an awareness of my stats. So again, just writing down like what videos I'm uploading, how well they do. I get little like monthly emails from YouTube that have my stats and stuff in them. So I definitely want to keep up with them and just making sure that I'm doing like the best that I can on YouTube. Um, I haven't put anything about like my uploading schedule in here just because I don't know what that will look like. I'm hoping that I can continue at least once a week because I obviously do really enjoy YouTube and that's why I have been doing it for as long as I have. That is all that I have for my goals and achievements on YouTube from 2023 and for 2024. These videos I always put up like around my anniversary of being on YouTube so I also like to look at like new ideas and new content and things like that. If you guys want to see anything specific let me know. But if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. And that is all from me and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye!